Hey guys, it's Beth, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we had a whole bunch of tragedy happen, so I went ahead and grinded up our entire team to level 16. That way we could beat up a whole bunch of um, school kids, and then we uh, basically uh, did nothing, and now we're going to do the gym. So given that this is going to be a cave, I'm going to assume that Boingo's probably going to get used, um, Hamtar will probably be used, uh, Sally is probably going to be used, and, you know, I'll give that to Pip too, sure. Might as well use all of our berries. Wait, okay, how many potions do I have before going into this? I don't want to, like, make a mistake. 16, that's about as good as I'm going to get, probably. Da Davern. Oh my god. It's literally Cavern with a D. They literally just mistyped it on a keyboard. Use a variety of Pokemon which are found in caves. Ground, rock, and poison types. You have water or fighting type. It's sure to come in handy for this battle. Well, I have a fighting type, so that's good. Strengthen your team with your fists. Alright. Jesus, you're level 14. Okay. I really don't have much for just, like, poison types. Like, seriously, if I had, like, a ground move on Sally, that'd be great. And, of course, paralyzed in the first turn. Well, this is going absolutely fucking splendid, isn't it? Oh my god. Yeah, I, get, I guess any time I see anything poison, just send out Boingo. It's not even worth it trying, because the enemy team's, l like, like, the, the actual hacks on the other side are, is just insane. Like, I will miss Metal Claws and Leech Seeds, and they'll just hit a thousand Fury Swipes and instantly poison. Alright. Luckily, there's not really anything uh, that it can do to Boingo, so I guess it's fine. Looking it up, the highest level on the team was um, 16, which means that they literally have Pokemon here that are on par with the gym leader, which is kind of ridiculous in my opinion, but you know... I guess it's the best way they could figure out how to do it, because they did sort of jump levels a small tad bit. Um, like, if it would have been far more reasonable if they were like 12 or 13, but um, the fact we're immediately starting at 14, and I know that the gym leader has a level 14, is kind of wild. I need to go run back. I'm... Anytime I see a poison type, might as well just... God, that, that goes against everything in my brain. Oh, poison type. Swap in grass type. Sure. Alright, hopefully they don't have, like, eventually get, like, fire fang or something. That would be really cool. Okay. Is there, like, a reason for all these rock smash rocks? In a cave, wild Pokemon can jump out from anywhere. Look around. Well, this isn't a wild area. This is, in fact, a gym that should be moderated. Wow, that does nothing. I would seriously expect that to do more. Unfortunately, we are now at half health. So it does, like, a fourth. Good to know. Don't need to switch. Yeah, I don't want to risk that. Oh, wait. I have a berry. Okay. Never mind. I probably should have saved the berries for, um, the leader. But it doesn't really matter. I guess. 
I'm gonna guess there's probably something in these rocks, match rocks, but I'm just going to, like, heal my Pokemon, because we are not rich enough to afford using potions in the gym right now. I love the fact that that TV monitor is just inside of the Pokemon healing machine. I mean, to be honest, like, it doesn't matter at all. I would not care in any other circumstance. I've been digging tunnels for years. What have you accomplished? Okay, that's fun. And that's kind of just mean to me. I have accomplished, like, nothing because I'm 19. Like, genuinely. Oh well. Luckily, Hamtaro here is just going to give this man the work. It's so nice having Karate Chop instead of just relying on Rock Smash for a good move. Ooh, Seismic Toss? That might be better than- Is it better than Focus Energy? I was using Focus Center Energy off screen and it did a whole lot of damage. Like, it, it worked a lot. It worked frequently. Okay. So I'm guessing that that's probably all of the trainers, and now I have to go break those rocks and find a gem to put inside of it. Alright. I'll probably- what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to, uh, lead with our, uh, Hamtaro focus energy, beat as much as I can with it, and then just, like, hope. I doubt it's going to be this one, but let's just see. I've never been a big fan of, um, I've never been a big fan of gyms that require HMs, but whatever. Hey trainer, I'm sure you know this by now, but I'm Davern, the gym leader of Beer Old Town. I raise Pokemon that are found in caves. Most people find caves scary, but ever since I was a kid, they always felt like home. That's why I dug out this abandoned mine and converted it into a gym. My Pokemon are toughened through hard work and battle. Can you stand up to our strength? Show me that you're not afraid. Okay. You know, he looked like a child before, but like, based on that, it doesn't look like he was one. Oh well. I'll stick with the voice. So you did 11 damage to me. That's less than ideal. I'm just going to lose a lot of speed here, I'm guessing. Modril. Uh, no. Gurren on reference. Yay! Are you gonna kill me? No. Okay. You just got lucky. Anger point. Oh my god, we maxed attack. Oh, right. You got unlucky. Never mind. And I have the potential to crit. Hamtaro is now staying in. Oh, dear roll. You're cool. Um, let me just super potion up Hamtaro. And, uh, wow, you are... You are super dead, my boy. And Sturdy saves you. But like, oh my gosh. The anger of this hamster. Oh, I got lucky. Okay, lucky I have the fresh water, which I'm going to use to heal myself up. God, imagine if Anger Point could, like, stack. That'd be great, but it can't because it's already maxed. Tofarang. That is the poison type. Intimidate it lowers one attack. I'm still plus five. I'm literally just going to hit return and, like, we win, which is pretty cool. So we got pretty lucky here. Well, there goes the luck. All right. Um, let me just, like... It's not going to do anything different, is it? I think we live. Oh, and apparently we do not kill with that. Luckily, we have a fresh water.
And we hit return again. I'm surprised it lived a plus five. That's impressive. I guess it does look pretty bulky, though, so... Yeah. Wow, nice work, Hamtaro. You just completely carried us there. It's a well-earned... That was a well-earned victory. You're more than deserving of the bright gem badge. Well fought, kid. Consider me impressed. Now, if you could hand over that gem you found earlier, click. And ta-da, here's your badge. That's kind of cool. I hope you'll look at that bag and remember all the hard work it took to use. I didn't really take hard work. It took me just pressing buttons. Oh, Brick Break? I would have preferred, like, a ground move or something, but, like, that's not bad. I'll take that, because I'll just immediately teach that to Hamtaro and Sally. We don't need Karate ch Okay, so... 75 as opposed to 50. We already have focus energy to have crits land more easily, so like... Eh. So this is pretty cool. Um, what do I get rid of on you? I guess I'll get rid of Attract. That makes the most sense to me. Uh, when does... I completely forget. I need to pull up the, um, the thing again real quick. I'm going to look when uh, it evolves into Primeape, because honestly, that's very possible for once that I may just end up using a Primeape, which is really cool to me. Because um, I always liked Primeape, I just net like, it's just that Mankey never, like, does it. Oh, 28, oof. We're, we're 10 levels off. That is, uh, that is going to be rough. Well, we still managed to beat the gym, which is pretty cool. No losses involved, either. That was quite literally easier than the school children. Um, Hamtaro can sit in the back. Who do I really want to level? I guess I want to level up Beep, because Beep right now is the weak link. Um, still under construction. All right, well... Yeah, because Beep's sort of the weak link in comparison with everyone else, uh, and, like, I know that, like, Mankey evolves at 28, um, and Orchinx evolves at level 28, um, and Bebo doesn't evolve anymore, Sally doesn't evolve at all, and Pip doesn't evolve anymore. So there's really no reason for me to focus on anything but Beep right now. But I should probably check when Beep actually evolves again. That would probably be smart of me to focus on that. You know, it, okay. It evolves into Nymphalora at 24. Oh, it's not far off. Okay. That's going to be pretty cool. Jeez, okay. You know, I'm going to actually head back. I'm going to buy some potions and stuff. And that's probably a best idea for me. Also, I talked to that guy, he says nothing. He said just don't go into caves that are, like, dangerous or whatever. You know, like, actual, like... Had some shit they say in the Rust Belt right there. By the way, d Beep, do you have Swarm or Natural Cure? You have Swarm. That kind of sucks. Oh well. This... This early game has an obsession with bugs, I swear. Um, okay, so let's grab some... Oh, I can't even buy ten great balls. Let's buy seven of these. We are, like, in poverty in terms of polka dollars. Like, this is insane. Alright. I could have sworn Nymphalora was, like, going to take longer to get... But, like, it's literally before the first evolution for Mankey. Ooh, citrus berries. That's amazing. I would love to be able to, like, actually plant the berries, but it doesn't look like I'm allowed to. Um. Want elixir? Tired of running. Let's battle. All right. I guess it lets you take a break for a moment. You are a ground type. I can just hit you with Giga Drain and you're dead. 
You can't even hit me with anything. I think you have spark, but that's not going to do anything. That might paralyze me, but that's it. You are pretty fast, though. I do kind of really like Gerbolta. Pahart. Yeah, this is, um... The, uh... The, f the bird. I want to keep beeping. That way they can get more experience. Because, like... It doesn't really matter if Pip and Sally get more experience. Because, like... They're already kind of at their best form. Oh, Orinberry is burned up. That sucks a lot. But, hey, you know... I, at least I have uh, Thundershock to just knock it out. Okay, well, you didn't knock it out. That's fine. I hate running back and forth in between, like, every single battle. But, like, I really do have to do it because I really don't have the money in this game. As soon as this game gives me the amulet coin, I'm going to be so much, like, in better shape. Like, genuinely. Found an ether. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a one hidden here. Oh, that's a nugget. That means we don't have to live in poverty. <sighs> it's just like America. You have to just find gold and able to, like, afford anything. Um, oh right, I need to heal. It seems like we're going in, like, going up, uh, a bridge, so we're probably going into, like, a new area there, which is gonna be pretty cool. Hopefully we can catch something new. That would be great. Yes, buy that nugget. Oh, another one? Since when did I have two nuggets? Oh, I don't even get premier balls with that. That sucks. Never mind. I feel bad for that now. Okay, let's get ten of you. Um, I can't afford ten pokeballs. It's not even worth it. You should only buy pokeballs in groups of ten because of premier balls. And it sucks that you can only do that with Pokeballs in this game. I understand that's how a lot of the games are, but like the modern games let you do it with anything. Shorts are really comfy. I'm wearing shorts right now. I hope... I apologize. I readjusted my glasses and it went and immediately hit my mic afterwards, so... Whoopsie, that's my bad. Yawn. That kind of sucks. Oh, cute charm. Oh, cute charm. Uh, no, I'm not going to swap yet, but I'm going to now, and I'm going to swap into Pip, because Sally is still weak to water because they are a ground type. Oh, it would have been smarter for me to... Yeah, it would have been smarter. Oh, well. God, I need, like, Spark or something on Pip, because its special stat is not great. Let me use my, one of the Chesto Berries I have, because I have a whole bunch of them. I could have sworn I had more than that, but, uh, whatever. Oh, Hidden Power. I mean, I don't know what any of my Pokemon's Hidden Power is. Um, is there anything that would benefit from that, really? Not really. Perfect place for a battle? I don't know. This is a literal wooden bridge. So many things could potentially go wrong here, man. I wouldn't do this personally if I were you, but, like, I'm not a real person um, in this world. Like, it, whatever happens to me in-game doesn't matter out here.
It's pretty cool being able to send a grass type in for poison types. Swap Pokemon back to Beep, because a Tancoon is a dark normal type, which means we hit it with either Fairy Wind or Struggle Bug, and we do a whole bunch of damage. And Bite does nothing, because it's four times resisted, you idiot. I know for some reason F Fairy Wind does a bit less than Struggle Bug, so I'm just going to use Fairy Wind afterwards, it's okay. Usually I associate Fairy with being stronger than Bug, but like, I don't know. No thank you. You might be, you might be rich, it may be better to, to get your number, that way I can Ogilvy? Oh, that's a Folarog. That's the evolution of, um, uh, Fort Hog. It's level 18. That's pretty high. Luckily, I have our secret weapon of hit Leech Seed and win. That did next to nothing, however, I, I guess it is, like, a higher level than me. But I do have Giga Drain, which is, like, a plus. You just, like, Boingo, unless a fire type comes out, just, like, does not take damage. Because of Giga Drain and, um... Oh, not very effective, okay. Good to know. I guess, yeah, it is a water type, I just wasn't sure of, like, how it would deal with poison or whatever. Okay. Ah, oh, shucks. Well, shucks to be you. Oops, sorry for bumping you into like that. I was hum in a hurry to the Pokemon Center because some Pokemon attacked me and my team in Comet Cave. If you want to pass through, it's better you find someone to go with you because Pokemon, they're attacking mobs. Well, good luck. Now, excuse me. Oh! That's pretty cool of a concept that I hope we will be able to explore. And there's no item there, so I wasted my time maneuvering. I did not read your joke, I apologize. It was probably s funnier than anything I've ever said. Also, that thing is horrifying. Get it off of my screen. I know it's Psychic Water, which is a pretty good type. Oh, that's a good confusion sprite. I mean, uh, animation. Well, it uses sprites, you know what I mean. I I wish it was less seizure inducing, but at the same time okay, you confused me, that's really sucky of you. Beep, please, I swear to you. I'm trying to do my best for you. I just want you to evolve. That's literally all I want for you. You, you know, I'll give you even the fresh water. Please, now, okay. You see, Beep, if you don't hit the Giga Drain, you will go to bed, and that would be really bad. Then you'll take more damage, and it would suck for you. And that's, no one wants that. Oh, more. Oh, wait, why am I not using Struggle Bug? That would actually do more, I believe. Plus, it lowers their special attack stat, so they're going to do less. Come on now. I, I should be smarter than this. But now I'm using Giga Drain on purpose because I want to get that health back. Now I'm using Struggle Bug because it has more PP, so. Just alternating everything for fun. Your joke was great. I love you. You're fine. Good job, Laramie. Thunderstone. That's pretty cool to have on hand. You know, maybe we'll get an Eevee or something. I doubt it. Not anytime soon, at least. 
You know, I was going to keep going for this entire route, but it looks like it spans on for a while, so I think this is where I'm going to call it for today's episode. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye!